when I uploaded a teaser post about um, which brands are going to be featured, some of you responded that you guys love Minju Kim and you guys watched her on Netflix survival fashion show uh, called Next in Fashion and she was actually the winner of that show. But she really made her name known globally in 2020 when she appeared on the series. Um, most of her designs are very unique. It doesn't scream Korean, but there are a lot of elements that go into it that looks very elegant um, and modern. In fifth year of launching the brand, she went into the Netflix show. In one of the interviews on um, a media, she said she decided to go on the Netflix show because she wanted to make her name known in Korea. And that's how hard it is to become famous in Korean uh, fashion industry. But she has a pretty solid background. So she went to the Samsung Design Institution and then went to the Antwerp Design School in Belgium. Let's have a look. such a beautiful traditional Korean house renovated into a showroom. This is one of the designs that I was looking at. I thought it was so beautiful and could even be like a wedding dress for people who don't want the classic wedding dress. I think it's a little too girly girly for me, but um, on the website, they actually match this with like a printed sheer kind of material um, inner wear and that was quite interesting. And this is what I thought like is very much like Cecily Johnson. I might try this one too. White was a little bit too much. Um, but in black, it's actually cotton, whereas white had a little bit of silk material in it. I love this color match. She was explaining that this dress is best worn by itself and it also comes out in black which is almost sold out in Korea but strangely overseas the jacket print was sold out very fast after it was um, stocked on a Porter. So she recommended me to wear this dress with that printed top to kind of make it a little bit casual for daily wear uh, which I'll show you later in the video. So she seemed like one of the assistant designers because um, their studio is right behind the showroom. So having someone who has so much knowledge about the brand and, and their clothes really helped me understand more about their identity and also the fabrics that they were using um, and how else it can be worn differently. <laughs> I feel like the videos and photos I took with this outfit don't carry the full vibe of this style. Um, I somehow, like for some reason, I really love that sheer printed top. I usually don't like this flower print, but it really meshed well with that kind of ruffle dresses or ruffle skirt. And by now you notice that all of their styles go really well with something chunky and big because it creates that friction that's the opposite of being lovely and sweet. But this double layered part, you don't need to wear a bra. And also it adds a really nice detail to the overall look. It's so beautiful. I'm so excited. And here comes my favorite outfit. <laughs> I would definitely wear this to like dinner, wedding, or any kind of events that need to be celebrated. I don't feel like too much, but I feel different. And uh, maybe I would match with my Bottega boots here or find the shoes like this, really big shoes, um, like platform heels and have the socks up like I'm doing it right now. I think it's kind of cute. So their last year's collection was inspired by um, a goddess in Korean fairy tale 
and a lot of their motives come from traditional Korean design. So as you can see, this is like flower prints that you would see from Korean houses or like even Korean snacks. And this jacquard print reminds a lot of um, the Korean traditional house ceiling or the door prints. And even this ribbon, it's not just a flower, but it's sort of like a signature of what doorknobs would look like in Korean traditional houses. So it's really interesting. It's definitely very, very unique and something you can't find in other brands. 감사합니다. 